I said, yeah, it's Charles. He says, yeah, and the nickname for Charles is Chuck, and I'm going to call you Chuck. And for some reason, it stuck with me, and from that point on, everyone called me Chuck. Chuck Norris is a martial artist, actor, film producer, and screenwriter from the United States. In Tang Soo Do, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and Judo, he has a black belt. Norris won many martial arts competitions after serving in the United States Air Force and subsequently established his own discipline, Chun Kuk Do. Norris went on to teach celebrities in martial arts in Hollywood shortly after. Norris went on to have a small part in The Wrecking Crew, 1969, an espionage film. Bruce Lee, a friend and fellow martial artist, asked him to portray one of the major antagonists in The Way of the Dragon, 1972. While Norris continued to act, Steve McQueen, a friend and former pupil, advised him to pursue it seriously. Norris starred in the action picture Breaker Breaker 1977, which was a commercial success. His second leading role, Good Guys Wear Black 1978, was a box office success, and he quickly established himself as a popular action movie star. They said, hey, show, uh, one of the troopers had a jumpsuit on. He said, they said show Chuck, show Chuck. He pulls down his arm. He's got a picture of me on his arm. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Carlos Ray Norris, but he's also known as Chuck. He was born March 10, 1940 in Ryan, Oklahoma, making him age 81 at the time of this production. He stands at 178 centimeters or 5 feet 8 inches tall. Norris loves karate so much that he even established more than 30 karate studios in the 1960s. Priscilla Presley and actor Steve McQueen were among the superstars he trained. McQueen persuaded his instructor to try his hand at acting. Norris was a strong competitor in addition to being a teacher. He competed in a number of martial arts competitions and won a number of them. In 1968, Norris won his first world middleweight karate championship. He defended the championship five more times, proving himself to be one of the best fighters in the world. Following his triumph in 1974, he chose to retire. Chuck Norris also loves reading and writing. Pick up any one of Chuck Norris's novels if you want to learn more about his mind. Against All Odds, Black Belt Patriotism, How to Reawaken America, The Justice Writers, and A Threat to Justice are among his best-selling works. These books have become well-known, landing him on the bestseller list of the New York Times. Against All Odds is an autobiographical memoir that dives into his persona and his ascension to the top. Other self-help books are also published by him. You'll find something tough and fierce in Chuck Norris's works, and this will motivate you to strive for the stars as well. Chuck's philanthropy is another feather in his cap, given all the fantastic things he's accomplished in his career. He's a supporter of Make-A-Wish and United Way, as well as the founder of Kickstart Kids and United Fighting Arts Federation. Norris married Diane K. Holacek, a classmate, in December 1958 when he was 18 and she was 17. They first met in high school in Torrance, California in 1956. Mike, their first child, was born in 1962. Dina, his daughter from an adulterous affair, was born in 1963. In 1964, he and his wife welcomed a second son, Eric. Norris and Holacek separated in 1989 after 30 years of marriage. He married former model Gina O'Kelly, who was 23 years Norris's junior, on November 28, 1998. From a previous marriage, O'Kelly has two children. On August 30, 2001, she gave birth to twins. Norris told Entertainment Tonight's Mary Hart on September 22, 2004, that he did not see his illegitimate daughter from a previous relationship until she was 26, despite the fact that she discovered he was her father when she was 16. In 1990, one year after Chuck's divorce from his first wife, Diane Holacek, he met her when she wrote him a letter telling him of their connection. As of 2017, Norris has 13 grandkids. But again, the wind was blowing so hard that they said, no, it's too dangerous. So what we will do is lift you up out of the water about three feet and then drop you back down, cut. Norris was born to Wilma and Ray D. Norris, who was a World War II Army soldier, mechanic, bus driver, and truck driver. Norris is claimed to have Irish and Cherokee ancestry. 
Norris was named after his father's minister, Carlos Berry. He was the oldest of three brothers, with Wyland and Aaron being the younger two. Norris's parents split when he was 16, and he moved with his mother and brothers to Prairie Village, Kansas, then to Torrance, California. Norris has described his upbringing as depressing. He was unathletic, introverted, and a lousy student. Ray, his father, worked as an automobile mechanic on the side and went on alcohol binges that lasted months at a time. Norris developed crippling introversion as a result of his father's actions and the family's financial problems, which lasted his entire childhood. In 1958, he enlisted in the U.S. Air Force as an air policeman and was sent to Osan Air Base in South Korea. Norris earned the moniker Chuck there and began his Tang Soo Do training, which led to black belts in the art and the creation of Chuck Kuk Do, Universal Waveform. He continued to work as an air policeman at March Air Force Base in California when he returned to the United States. In August 1962, Norris was released from the United States Air Force. Norris applied to be a police officer in Torrance, California after completing his military service. Norris founded a martial arts studio while on the waiting list. Norris promoted it by participating in several demonstrations and fights. Soon, Norris began competing in martial arts tournaments. Norris played Bruce Lee's enemy in the critically acclaimed martial arts film Way of the Dragon in 1972. Way of the Dragon was a worldwide success, grossing an estimated $130 million. The picture is credited for catapulting him to fame. Jonathan Kaplan's The Student Teachers aired on September 26, 1973, with Norris playing a minor role. Actor Steve McQueen, a martial arts student and buddy at the time, spotted his promise and persuaded him to enroll in acting school at MGM in 1974. In the same year, he appeared in Low Wise Yellow Face Tiger in a supporting role as the main antagonist. Norris portrays a strong drug lord in San Francisco, where he reigns supreme over the criminal underworld, including the police force. Norris appears in the 1979 film A Force of One as Matt Logan, a world karate champion who helps the cops with their investigation. While on tour for Good Guys Wear Black, the film was developed. Norris starred in Joseph Zito's film Missing in Action in 1984. It's the first of a series of POW rescue fantasies created by Menahem Golan and Yoram Globus and released under their Canon Films brand, with which he'd signed a multi-film deal. He portrays Colonel James Braddock, a U.S. military commander who served in the North Vietnamese POW camp for seven years before escaping ten years ago. The President's Man, a television film by Michael Priest, debuted on CBS on April 2, 2000. Norris portrays Joshua McCord, the U.S. President's highly trained bodyguard. PD, and, but I had like a four-month waiting list. So in the meantime, I'm working at Northrop Aircraft, and, and I decided to start a little karate club. During the 1970s, Norris used to make $10,000 per movie. It can be safely said that Chuck Norris is now in retirement, and the last movie that he featured was in The Expendables 2 in 2012. However, he has many other sources of earning, like getting featured in TV ads. Chuck Norris's net worth is $70 million. Chuck owns multiple properties across the United States and often resells them for a profitable value. He sold his Dallas, Texas home in 2013 for $1.2 million, while he sold his North Tustin estate for $3.5 million. His California property in the Tarzana section of Los Angeles is a bit more than 2.2 acres and has a recently remodeled main house, slightly larger than the 5,000 square feet, on a knoll overlooking a tennis court, a pool, a guest cottage, and an equestrian riding ring. It's listed at just under $2.6 million. The cars you'll find in Chuck's garage include a Ford Mustang, Karate Corvette, Dodge Ram, and a GMC Sierra.
a BMW 5 Series, 